what, uh, you know, the kind of typical questions that we always ask libertarians, what, what type of libertarian are you? Like, how would you describe your, you know, on the scale of minarchist to ANCAP or, or kind of, um, utilitarian to, you know, natural rights or how, right. what type of libertarian are you and how did you become a libertarian? So I'm an anarchist. Uh, I would say that my preference is more towards an ANCAP, ANCAP society. I've also, as I've been an anarchist, as long as I have, I've come to the realization and the conclusion that if we were to, if we were to make the state go away, absent the state, uh, I don't think that I am smart enough to think that I am going to create a, 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 a way of organizing that all seven and a half billion people on earth are going to want to voluntarily organize exactly that way. So where I personally believe that something closer to what ANCAPs are proposing is probably the most uh, uh, efficient and best way to voluntarily organize a society, I am fine with people voluntarily choosing to organize in different ways with the idea that we can all learn from each other along the way. Uh, I think that the most important thing right now is ending the ever creeping growth of a tyrannical and oppressive and infringing government and move towards where we can actually start having those kinds of conversations uh, more so than than getting in arguments about that right now. Um, how did I get here? So I was actually a neocon uh, back in the, yeah, yeah, I know, the, the worst kind of conservative, <laughs> right? So I went straight from uh, neocon. So uh, I, I'm a small business, just for people who don't know my background, I'm a small business owner. I started a web design company in my teens back in 1999. Uh, in 2000 or 2001 on 9-11, I was a pretty successful 19-year-old who thought I knew everything. 9-11 uh, happened, completely horrified me. I bought completely into the government media narrative that the terrorists attacked us because they hated us for our freedom and wanted to spread a worldwide Islamic caliphate around the world. And we needed to use the force of good, which was the U.S. military, to spread freedom around the world and bomb as many people as it took to spread our peaceful ways. It sounds stupid saying it now, but I unironically believed this for a few years. And uh, there were some incredibly annoying people uh, like Ron Paul uh, and Matt Kibbe and others who kind of operated in conservative circles and said, no, this ain't it. Uh, this isn't going to work. Uh, that's not why they attacked us. It was blowback for decades of, of, of actions in their region. And, uh, you know, what would you do if the Chinese did this to us? And all, all of those things that I now say. Uh, and back then I was like, you hate America. You just want the Muslims to win. And, you know, we need to spread peace for us and our greatest ally in the region, Israel, the whole thing. And uh, every year, everything that they said kept happening. Everything they said was going to happen, happened. They said it was a waste of time. We weren't going to be greeted as liberators. That was true. They said that a bunch of people were going to come back and flag drape uh, caskets and with PTSD and that nothing good was going to happen as a result of it. That was true. And eventually I realized around, I don't know, 05 or 06, that I was just mad that they were right. I didn't even really think I was right anymore. And that was an incredible moment of cognitive dissonance. And I, I reconciled that and started looking more into libertarianism and, and more into, honestly, constitutionalism as well. And kind of looking at my frame of reference for, for why I thought government should even be doing this. And that kind of took me on a journey away from being a neocon and towards being more of a, I guess, paleocon constitutionalist minarchist until eventually my final form, as it were, as, a, as, a, as an anarchist. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I had a, to a similar uh, journey. I mean, I was more on the left, mm -hmm. um, just without being super political, you know, but I was kind of the left leaning guy. I was, um, you know, I'm a, a Jewish kid from Brooklyn with a single mother. Just by and that's default, just, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. what you are, you know. Right, right. Um, but after 9-11, after I mean, I was really sold on the, okay, let's go get these bastards. I mean, they did that to us. And it took, it took a while to really have it connect that that impulse that I had that was like, oh, let's go get those bastards. They did this to us. It was the same exact impulse that those bastards who were getting us had. And there really is something, it's, it is a bitter pill to swallow. But once you kind of see things that way, it's, it kind of, you know, it clicks. The question that hit me, it was a two-part question. And it's one that I ask neocons now, and it makes them equally angry as when I first heard it. Uh, one if the terrorists are so terrible, why did our government arm them and train them and help fund them and help give them intelligence and sponsor them all along the way? And then two, why would we trust an organization that funds the very people that they say are our greatest threats 
to protect us from those great threats that they keep creating. And I never had a good answer to that. Even when I thought that this would work, even when I thought that the, the new American century was the way forward and all that, you know, neocon uh, uh, nonsense from Rumsfeld and so forth, I never had a good answer for that. And it pissed me off really, really bad. And, uh, and, and I, I watch it today when I ask, you know, neocons and people that, that believe that we should be using the military as basically the world police and that, you know, the, the, the terrorists are going to destroy us if we, if we aren't, you know, destabilizing entire regions of the planet. I ask them those questions and I've never gotten a good answer back other than just a lot of really, I guess, R E, you know, re basically <laughs> is the, is the essential response that I get back from that.